Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Motorsport Manager. And when we last left off, Falco is putting on a clinic, leading the driver's standings right there by two points over Calusa with Vittorio Corsa. And they are the team that we are battling neck and neck for the Constructors Championship as well. Two points ahead of Vittorio Corsa there. We're 11 weeks away from our test track, five days away from reliability improvements. Next race is Milan with a very high fuel burn and a low tire wear. Looks like practice may be a little bit rainy, but sunny for qualifying and the race. Looks like soft tires are going to be the way to go for the race with that low tire wear. Let's go ahead and continue on. Wet weather training, you say? All right, so for 500 grand, Falco can be better in the rain, which certainly isn't too bad. I think we have the money to swing it. Let's do it. We can fit the bill. There you go, Falco. Go sliding on a skid pad somewhere. So now Falco should have the Wet Weather Pro. While it is raining and wet, he is really, really good. So always improving, Falco, the 30-year-old driver. We do have one sponsorship offer. Let's go ahead and keep on going while we get the second and the third offer as well. So car repair is done. What do we want to improve as we wait? Let's clear everything out and start from scratch here. Our lowest reliability parts are going to be, let's see, the 478 right there. And also we need performance improvements as well. Uh, also we need to... Shoot, looks like suspension is good. We can top off that suspension piece for now, but it looks like brakes, engine, and gearbox are what's going to be in Milan. So let's go ahead and work on that gearbox as well. And then we can work on the, uh, shoot, the brakes seems to be fine. We can get that suspension up six days before the race and one day before the race. Uh, with all that reliability with the gearbox and brakes seems to be good. The question is, do we want to help improve some of these others? And I don't think we waste the resources on it. Well, I mean, we can. Let's see. So 91 looks to be, and then that should be fine. Right? Sure. Um, let's go ahead and top off the brakes as well. All right, continuing on, we will wait to get our third sponsor. World Motorsport Champion is going, and now we can sign our sponsors. So 13th, 12th, and 14th and above for nine races, 900 grand up front. Let's see, 200 grand per race. I think that would be better. Although over the course of nine races versus six... But to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to be picking these sponsors to go. It looks like we have a really strong run. We can pick that uh, second or third, right? Uh, Telecore is fourth or above and second or above. So yeah, this is mainly going to be just for the upfront payment, I believe, because Condor Telecoms with a fourth or above, we can consistently uh, knock that out. So that should be fine. Let's just go with a bigger upfront payment make up that money that we spent on Falco's training. It may be nine races, but you know, that's pretty good. I'm not too concerned about that. We'll continue going on and then we'll check in. Let's check in with our reliability here. See how the parts are improving 90% everywhere. Um, so let's get rid of these brakes here and start working on these parts here to get them up. Still one day before the race as far as these parts are concerned, so that should be fine. We'll definitely get our brakes set. Race report is coming up for Dubai. What do we have now? Milan and researching the brakes. I know, but we're already building a thing, so we're not going to build anything else. GT Championships running in Dubai. Good on you, Lissandro. Now, where is... Huh. Just looking at... Scan Scrum. There's Casino. Interesting indeed. Oberhof, Scan Scrum GT. So I see Casino and Griffin. So it looks like old Lars Olin is no longer in the GT Championship. So that guy was pretty much fired. Interesting indeed. Um, huh. 
Where is Lars Olin, I wonder? Can we sort by the name and then we'll go to L, see where old Lars is, because he was giving us a fit. And I don't see him anywhere. Interesting. So Lars Olin apparently has been fired. Interesting indeed. Or he retired out. That should be fine. <laughs> so the guy giving us all kinds of trouble is no longer racing. All right, performance work is done. We can improve in the factory. Nice. I like the, uh, the reliability that we have here. Now looking at the brakes, it looks like the brakes should be our next that we focus on as well as our engine for sure in the next coming races. And we'll just fit that. That is fine. So Condor Telecoms for a fourth or above. I think that would be more practical than the second. It's like, do I want to give up? I think I want to go for the sure thing. Let's just pad our losses here just in case we finish top four and not on the podium. I want to guarantee that. Part should still be fitted well. A lot of reliability here, so Falco has all the best parts indeed. All right. I will go ahead and practice and qualify, and it looks like heavy rain in practice. We're not going to be able to get our tires too well unfortunately, but we'll see what happens. I will see you after qualifying. Qualifying done, ladies and gentlemen, Falco with a fifth and Laura with a ninth, and we're locked on our Q2 tires here. Should be fine, let's go ahead and get the race started. Everyone up front here is pretty much locked on their tires, and looking at the weather, it looks like the weather men were correct, and it may be just a sunny old day uh, here in Italy. Let's see if we, uh, Falco and uh, Enrica can do the work here, at least on this first stint. Everyone up here is going to be on the struggle bus as far as tire wear is concerned. We'll just keep an eye out for them, uh, try to manage the tire wear, and just get through this first section. Uh, once pit stops engage, then we should be fine. Uh, of course, I have Falco on his soft tires wear more slowly trait. So as this race continues, I think we will be a lot better off. Now, based on the speed that we are running, it's a good thing that I picked the fourth and above sponsor objective, that is for sure. All right, I think we can turn down uh, our tires and fuel for now. It looks like everyone is pretty much thinned out and gotten single file. Falco with his first, uh, fastest first segment of the race there, good on you, Falco. Really pressuring Wood in front of him. Wood has some uh, messed up tires there. And we'll just sort of ride right here, uh, see what the race gives us. Of course, no full course cautions available. That would be definitely nice to get back on the same strategy as everyone else. And it looks like these tire temperatures are definitely uh, picking up. Let's go ahead and conserve these tires just a bit and see if we can stretch this out we only have a couple more uh, sets of soft tires in the pits. So if we can stretch these out, we may be okay. Now it looks like a few cars did pit there for their fresh tires. I don't know if they're gonna go to a medium or not. And it looks like Lara may do one more lap on her tires and then we will definitely uh, see where we can do. So for this particular run, Enrica, go ahead and attack everything you got and pit this time around. So soft tires last 11 to 13 laps. It's only 26 laps on top of that. We may make it just a bit. Let's do one stint on soft tires. If anything, we can put on uh, just the scuffs that we did in Q2. We'll top off our fuel tank at 26 laps. That way we can uh, get done with the fuel and be fine. So Lara is gonna push everything she's got here this particular lap. Falco, I still have him uh, conserving, except for now. Go ahead and push everything you got there, Falco, and pit this time for your set of soft tires. And we have an extra set of soft tires for Falco, so we really are in the catbird seat as far as pit strategy goes for Falco. Down and away, fueler is good, and Enrica is now done with fueling. Let's go ahead and have her push those soft tires for a bit. 
and Falco will come on in for his pit stop this time. Jack is good, down and away. Fueler is awesome. And we'll just turn him right down and get back to the race. So we've sort of tailed off here. Everyone else is gonna be making uh, some pit stops here. Let's go ahead and push the neutral as far as the, the push is concerned. We don't wanna burn through those tires as of yet. We're gonna be catching up to these guys on their medium tires. They're very worn medium tires. So that is all well and good. And it looks like Enrique actually needs to dial back the, the speed in order to make these tires last. She's already at 75% use. She can leapfrog a few of the cars on pit road, but we, we need to stick with this here. I think Falco has a pretty good shot. Is There you go. Nice, Falco making some moves there, passing some cars on pit road. And he is still attacking these cars in front of him on those very worn medium tires. I think we can scale Falco back up just a bit on those conserves and just get within the realm that we can do one more stop just for soft tires. Enrica making some passes, the car's on pit road. Now she's surrounded by medium tires and it looks like they decided to do medium tires on that stint. If we come down again, we may need uh, to do mediums for Enrica. We'll see how the pit strategy goes. Falco's worked himself up into seventh place even on conserve, fighting for sixth place there. Looks like he had the boost, and we're filtering through all these guys that have to pit. We are going to stay out when they pit. We'll make up a lot of time there, that's for sure. I'm not too concerned. We're within 11 seconds, so we should do some leapfrogging here, just like so. Make up some time there, and I think Enrica can actually get back to a neutral run on her tires. So she is sitting in 10, surrounded by guys on worn tires, but still not bad. Now, I don't believe these soft tires have lasted as long as I would have liked them to. No rain in the forecast, so we don't have to worry about switching to intermediates or wets. And with these guys coming on pit road, Falco can actually stay out a little bit longer, maybe actually short this up. Wood is on pit road for repairs. That is awesome. All right, Enrica, if you please, let's go around one more time and really push the tires this time around. Nope, matter of fact, let's cancel that until we are sure we are past pit road. So we've got 12 laps to go, and I'm thinking that the medium tires are going to be the way to go. We don't need to fuel. Nope, 12 laps. We need to turn down the engine just a touch to save some gas. So that is what we are gonna do. We're gonna pair back the engine and Enrica is going to make her pit stop here. Falco is actually gonna turn up his tires a bit and stay out a few more laps and definitely get into that realm where uh, we won't need any more pit stops. All right, so Enrica rejoins the, the race. We'll keep her fuel there and we'll keep her pushing on those tires. Yeah, Falco can actually go a few more times around. That is feeling pretty good. As a matter of fact, let's just attack with these tires. These next couple laps, get as much as we can out of these tires. And you are going to pit next time, good sir, for your soft tires. We won't need to pit. We'll turn down his engine as well. A three second pit stop. And let's just do a medium fuel consumption there. Try to get as much as we can out of it. Falco is pushing as hard as he can here. I know you're going through these tires, but luckily you are going to pit this time. And Falco is on pit road. Jack is up, mistake on the left front, but not too bad. That was a four second mistake. And I think we made that up on the track. I hope we can anyway. We'll just do a push. No, let's just do a neutral. We don't need to go as long as we can on these guys We're within 13 seconds. So the guys that are pitting, we will definitely leapfrog them. So we've made our last pit stop of the race. We've got very worn tires in front of us. I think it's just gonna sort of fall in our hands here. We can conserve these tires just a bit and sort of pace them out. Holy crap. 
Looks like Lara is burning through these medium tires. We actually need her to conserve some. We want her to go the rest of the way, and I don't think she can if we don't scale back on those tires. Falco is making these guys look bad, though, on a conserve and fighting for the lead here. So not a bad mistake on pit road. In fact, second place is going to pit right here. And we're actually sitting pretty pretty, if I had to make a guess. We're attacking the leader, Old Partinen, and we are on much better tires than he is. We really don't have to force the issue much. We can have plenty of tires to go neutral, I think, for these last few laps, and poor Enrica is burning through her tires like crazy. We need her to scale back as much as possible and survive these four laps if she can. So we're good on fuel. We have excess fuel. We could turn up the engine, but why? So coming to three laps to go, Partinen may stay out. Nope, Partinen is pitting, so we don't need to do anything different as far as pit road is concerned. Um, can you get around him, Falco? There you go. And we're just going to set on cruise control. Two laps to go for Falco. We don't even really need to pit. Uh, Kaluza is trying to catch up. If I see that gap shrink, then I will make a ball and strike judgment call. But even Enrica is doing really well here. So final lap, let's go ahead and tell Enrica to push. See what she can get out of it. And Falco, I'll turn up to a push as well. So Falco will keep Kaluza behind him. Outstanding. Enrica is going to really push here. Overtake mode, can we get him? Nope. So a first place for Falco and a fourth place for Lara. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Feeling really good about that. Excellent tire management. We, we, we mopped up with them today here in Italy. That is for sure. So that's going to extend our points lead for Falco over Kaluza for sure. And even extend our Constructors Championship as well. Feeling really good about that. Let's go ahead and save the game. And yeah, Falco is able to stretch out those soft tires for 14 laps and make a nine lap last stint. Feeling pretty good about that. Of course, we didn't break any rules and it would be nice if the Corsa team broke some rules, but they didn't. Kaluza gets hit their point for being on the pole position. And there's Tanaka with Corsa there, 16. So it's still a very tight battle. Kaluza on the pole, only one point to the good as far as the championship goes, and Lara has passed uh, Yang Li for fourth place and only one point behind Partinen for Grand Slam. So very tight points battle, two points ahead of Corsa still. That is feeling pretty good. So it looked like the Black Sea and Russia was the next race in our championship, and if I remember right, tire wear is tremendous there. You chew through tires like crazy. So unfortunately, Falco won't be able to use his soft tires wear more slowly perk because I don't think we're going to be on very many soft tires. So good improvement for Enrica. 1% there all around. Very nice. We came in first. 2 million down. But that's just the cost of doing business, right? And saving the game once more. And we are actually almost done with our test track, which will allow us to... Uh, make some better engines here. So let's take a look at the pit crew. Kalazuni needs to be swapped with a pretty good tire changer, and unfortunately, we don't have any good ones, and there's no good reserve tire changers here, but we'll, we'll hire uh, Mizuya and go ahead and swap them out. These guys are looking knackered as well. But, I mean, these guys need to rest. Black Sea GP, very high tire wear, rainy qualifying session, and medium speed corners are crucial. So, good thing we were working on those suspension parts. Let's do an interview. Which one of your drivers? All right, how do you feel? Um, let's see. I feel great, but it's all down to my driver. It really is. Falco is amazing. Pit crew, one mistake. Sparks fly. 
All right, was definitely pushed to his limits. Sokka driver came out on top. Many suspect that the team's championship gap this small. The rivalry will only continue to intensify. Yes, I agree. But that's going to do it for me in this episode of Motorsport Manager, ladies and gentlemen. Next time we tackle the Black Sea in Russia and how many races are there to go. So we're about halfway through the season and we have the Oval of Phoenix after that. Really looking forward to that for sure. But that's going to do it for me in this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next Motorsport Manager video. Take care.